guys, what is up? It's Amy here, and today we're going to be doing a non fashion related video. I'm going to be doing my simple, minimalist, everyday makeup look. Let's get into it. My makeup routine has definitely evolved over the past, I'd say, about a year. I used to wear makeup literally every day, um, then I wouldn't wash it off, aka this acne. But my skin has definitely been getting better, especially like my cheeks. There's a lot of dark marks from the acne scars, but it's definitely receding. But my makeup really went from something I did every day, caked it on, foundation, concealer, contour, all of that. But now I've kind of simplified it to just the basics and I use like about five products I think and like two brushes and it literally takes me like five minutes every day. It's definitely a lot simpler, a lot more fun to do and I'm hoping that in a couple months I can get to a place where I literally don't even have to wear any foundation ever because that would be awesome. But anyways, we are going to get into my everyday makeup routine. Very minimal, very skin friendly. So first thing I do every day is moisturize and I use the clean and clear dual action um, moisturizer. I'm actually almost out of this and when I am, um, I was recommended from a YouTube video to use this one from Sarah V and it's like one specifically for acne which I really want to try. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared to use too many acne products because my face wash is already for acne. So maybe I might just get the regular CeraVe moisturizer and that literally takes me like five seconds. Next thing I do is, I honestly don't like wearing foundation. I don't do that anymore. But I move on to my brows because as you can see, they're kind of like, they, they just don't, they suck. They literally suck. To do my eyebrows, I use this, which is the e.l.f. Dual... Not, I don't know what it's called, but it's just where eyebrows comes with two different colors and it's just like a cream based thing and I honestly just use a little mirror that it comes with because we're not that fancy here and I used to use a spoolie to like brush out my eyebrow eyebrows before I did it but then I realized that this just does the trick and this is just like a flat um, brush it has just literally just straight and flat so I just kind of Follow the line of my eyebrows. My eyebrows are also something that used to take like literally five minutes to do. But then I realized that I don't need to be that extra with it. I don't need to outline them with concealer every day. Like there's literally no point. They look just as good when I just do this. So just do this. Because what we're literally what we're trying to go for is the least amount of time put in for the most um for the best results. So I just kind of fill them in and make them into the shape that I like. It takes like two seconds and just outlining it honestly does the most. So that's what we go for. Boom. Literally like a minute and we're done. And I honestly think my eyebrows look fine like this. I don't need to like outline them and do the spoolie thing and like clean them up because like we're not perfect so as long as we look as presentable as we want to be we're good next thing I do might seem like kind of like weird for something that's supposed to be natural and minimal but I put red eyeshadow in my crease and you might be thinking like why <laughs> but I honestly just like the way it looks and it's something that I've always done even when I did like a lot of makeup I would always start with a, this specifically like a burgundy color in my crease and then I do like a darker brown and then like do like a splitter a neutral glitter on like my lid and then like do an inner corner highlight but then I just got rid of most of the eyeshadow and just stuck to this because I really like the way it looks on me so we're just gonna keep doing it this doesn't come with the mirror so I'm gonna look at myself in the viewfinder but it's just literally two seconds like especially when I'm in a hurry like just like that and we're done <laughs> And I honestly just think it kind of defines my eyes a little, gives them a little bit of pop of a color, and just makes it look like I actually tried it. So this is the fourth thing that I use on my face every day, and it is some mascara because your girl needs it. Like, they just don't try. And honestly, most of the time, I use the same mirror from this eyebrow stuff, and I just go for it. And once again, you don't need to spend 10 hours thinning out your lashes using 10 different mascaras to get the look because honestly just a little bit of um, darkness and a little bit of length and you're literally good to go. 
But anyways, no one's gonna sit there and measure your lashes, so as long as it looks a little fuller, a little longer, you're good to go. I think this is the last item. So the last thing that I use every day is some chapstick, lip balm. And it's medicated, and this is from Caramax. I love this stuff. I used to hate it when I was little because it literally smells like medicine, but it makes your lips so smooth that like I use it every day. Cute, right? <laughs> but so this is it. This is my everyday makeup look. And let's talk about skin for a second. So when I was younger, I think middle school I did not wear makeup usually. I think it was like freshman year of high school when I started wearing makeup. And it's like kind of a paradox because I put on makeup to look prettier and to like be more presentable and cute or whatever. But I would like never take it off which I know it's disgusting it's like why would you do that I just honestly didn't know um listen to your mother because my mom told me to stop wearing makeup I didn't listen to her I just kind of kept doing it but rarely wash it off before I went to sleep and after a while my skin turned into this um not specifically this it honestly has been worse than this before and I've just like recently started taking care of it and drinking more water and all that kind of stuff but yeah, I would like never take care of my skin. I would put on a lot of makeup and then not wash it off. And it just not ha practice very good skincare. And after a while, my skin just got worse and worse and worse. And it came to a point where then I had to put on makeup to look more presentable and I had to wear makeup to like just leave the house. I literally just had to because if I didn't, then I would feel so like insecure about my skin and the way and the state that it was in. So what I recommend for you guys is to just skip it. Um, obviously, like if if you want to wear makeup, if it makes you feel happier, do it. But don't do it to look prettier because I assure you, especially if you have naturally like clear skin, don't wear foundation and concealer. Don't like powder is all right. I think because it's like it doesn't clog your pores as much as like really cakey foundation. So like definitely skip the whole foundation and concealer if you already have clear skin because it's why would it just doesn't make any sense it's kind of like it's kind of like putting on a coat in the summer like you don't need that coat it's just gonna make you sweat I honestly recommend especially if you're younger and you're watching this please don't wear makeup just to feel prettier don't do it because everyone else is doing it especially if you already have clear skin definitely go for the crazy eyeshadow and really bold lip and like super cute brows but like especially for like face makeup if you don't need it, then don't use it. I honestly only did it because a full face of makeup is what everyone was going for, so that's what I went for. But definitely just skip to what stick to what you need and don't wear makeup just because everyone else is doing it. And if you're gonna wear makeup, especially face makeup, wash it off before you go to bed because that is honestly like the only reason that I have this. I've never washed my face after putting on makeup and then I'll just like then I just ended up with like really bad acne and then I had to wear makeup to cover it up. So that's what I recommend for you guys. That's kind of my tip of the day when it comes to wearing makeup and why I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore. And if you see my skin now, it honestly, like on camera, it kind of looks like trash. But it honestly used to be worse than this. I can just pretend these are really dark freckles, right? I'm going to get away with that. So that was it for today's video and kind of my pro tips on wearing makeup and why you shouldn't do it slash why you should take care of your skin if you end up doing it so you don't end up like this. This is like a, like a horror story, like a cautionary tale on wearing makeup. But honestly, you don't need a lot of it to look pretty. You're beautiful just the way you are. I know everybody says that, but I honestly believe that um, your outward appearance really doesn't matter that much anyways. And putting on makeup is not going to make you prettier on the inside. So definitely just do you, but also like be yourself as much as you can. So that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, of course, subscribe and then also like this video because it kind of, it helps me out a lot um, with like getting my videos ranked. So if you want more people to come into contact with this beautiful face, then definitely like this video so it can be ranked higher. But I'll have all my social media linked down below so you can go follow me on like my Instagram, Twitter, which I honestly only have a Twitter for the tea, but it's all good. If you want to follow me on all that, I'll have it down below. But that was it for this video. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. If you guys, I honestly like love having just a blank back white wall to film with. And it's so far behind me. Like, let me show you guys. 
how far it is like this like so that's how far back that wall is if you guys were wondering but definitely not going to be a lot of videos with this because I'm at my cousin's house that was it for today's video and I'll see you guys next time bye guys